Hello, beautifuls and beloveds. So what I'm about to talk about is, um, hmm, you know, I would rather just focus on, for example, videos that talk about depth of my choreography, where I got my ideas from, how I do it, um, helping people with respect. I'm not saying helping people is they steal my stuff and they take what they want and that's me helping them. No, that, that's, that's theft and it's very hurtful and illegal. Um, and I'm also not talking about uh, uh, you get to choose to enslave me <laughs> or anything like that. Um, I really am a good person and I will only boast in Christ in me and he makes me as good as I am and I choose to be obedient. I'd say about 90 to 94 percent of the time um which i think is pretty good and i'm always striving for that 100 percent knowing that i will fail like everybody else sometimes we do reach that 100 percent but we have sin to deal with and i'm no better than anybody else and you're not any better than me as a human being even though we might have skills that might surpass one another that that just is a skill thing it's not judging you as a person or me um, so it makes it hard for me to uh, talk about what I'm going to talk about. But if you are one of my beloveds, uh, and that is a very big umbrella, I don't want to falsely accuse, but I really need to know something. And I don't want to necessarily approach you face to face, because I think I would end up crying, because if what I'm thinking is correct, it's very heartbreaking, but let's check and see. You need to let me know because I'm gonna find out one way or another because as you know, my company, my board and I, my family, excuse me, are working with different areas in government and we are reaching out legally uh, and in many ways. I need to find out more of what's been happening to me and my creative works and deal with the theft and deal with the, the horrible things that we've been enduring for too long and once you decide to put this kind of thing to stop those who are mooching off of you don't like it and certain somebodies really don't like it and uh we need to get to the bottom of many things not only the two mysterious accidents but why people are dying and you know the little bit more hairier aspects of what we think may all be connected. So without falsely accusing, without naming names, I'm just going to say what happened and let people draw their own conclusions and maybe that the good Lord will be pressing upon their consciences and their souls, spirits, and hearts that they will fess up and tell me everything that they know and I will respect you more for that even though it'll probably hurt me but I will heal and get over it but I'm gonna find out anyway <laughs> you know if you come to me uh, even though I might not react oh oh it's okay <laughs> I am not I'm just prefacing it but I am a mature enough person there will be no physical violence I am not gonna curse you out and swear at you I will not get extremely angry I might feel it in my heart we can have people there witness it or go out write me a note. I really need to know. And I have loved everybody above and beyond. So I think I deserve at least this. Um, because like I said, it's going to be known and it's going to be found out. And unfortunately, I have to write a dissertation about what we are speculatively thinking about and what we know. And it won't be up to me to get to the bottom of it, but either your heart will be pressed upon in a good way to help me, or or you you will be found out. And you know, none of, none of them will be good. But I say this: what will be better is to approach me somehow and let me know. So I just made a uh, video about uh, uh, let this be my last battleground. And there's a lot that really is disturbing about this. Like I said, um, I keep everything. 
I journal everything, I have evidence of everything. This was how I made the little presentation folders like I did with my red ribbons piece. And I know who I presented this to and <laughs> I am not so happy because um, this piece in form uh, showed up on a, a colleague who also did this. Now, I don't think that colleague knew that it came from me. Really, I don't because they never showed a sign of it. I had their piece, a portion, like it was a 50 minute length piece, 55, something like that. It was beautiful. And, you know, there were things in there that had nothing to do with my cancer rendition and honoring the people in my life. You know, a different type of storyline, but nonetheless, it was a leak because I'm like, there's no way somebody else could have come up with certain aspects like I did because it was just so unique unto me. So this is what I hope that didn't happen, but at this point, I can see several leaks that came from the same places that I pitched this dance to and I pitched other dances to. Just saying. And yeah, I mean, I, I think, because I love these people, one in particular, I really, really love. And I don't want to be judgmental. So I really hope this isn't it. But like I said, I have to find out because we do have various investigations at various levels um, or at various stages, I should say. And I, I think it's probably best to get on my good side and help and secure the leak and help me secure the leak and help me track things down and why this happened. Um, I did nothing wrong. I know that. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I was just like thinking, you don't think, and you know, certain things are starting to be pieced together. And I'm like, oh my God, you don't think that that same, the they beat me to it to where these were these dances were pitched and these other people were coerced to do this or is this some kind of vetting hazing process that you know these certain people have to go through it's not right um i do know that that happens i've worked in uh film and production and it's a way that people can control other people it's like i saw you do that you know and they hold each other in check you know having dirt on everybody dirt and it, that's not right either. Uh, I say, come on to my ship, come on to our side, because we don't do that to people. People have really done really bad things to us. And um, if you show repentance and you change your heart for good, obviously we're not about sinking your life or your ship or anything like that. Only our fruit and our evidence and our works and things that we have already done will uh, testify for that. Um, I really don't even want to deal with this kind of stuff personally. I really just want to make my dances and my artwork without people taking it from me. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, when I made that other video, it's like I've been thinking about this a while because when I became really good friends with this one colleague of mine who's sadly no longer here, you know, we had this really nice, beautiful talk before this person passed on. Remember that? Yeah. It was really amazing and wonderful. And, you know, I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but, you know, the saying, dead men tell no tales, that's true. However, dying people do tell very good tales. They have nothing to lose. They are departing. And it's amazing how your impending end of life can have you confess the best and worst of things that you either did or saw or heard or know about. And um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, this person gave me an earful and a heartful and I was grateful, but then again, I was also very concerned. And I don't want to say that this person necessarily in all cases named names, but definitely gave me something to think about. And I don't think that this person who, who passed on knew that an idea that came their way was actually my idea, person close to them, giving it to them. 
not knowing that we were necessarily connected and that person not necessarily knowing that we would be connected or that I would make it anywhere <laughs> in dance or anything like that. And I, I, I'm really not trying to be a bitch about this because like I said, all along the, the chain there of what we're thinking that may have happened, again, not falsely accusing, I just wanna know the truth. I mean, I think I might have people that don't want me around in more ways than one. So I think I deserve a little bit of an explanation so my team and myself and my family can piece this together. Truthfully, factually, I need to know what's going on. So I'm putting it out there in the ethers as vaguely as I can, but you know who you are. And there could be a couple of you and that's very disturbing too. What I can say is this, I, obviously don't approve of it and I wish you didn't do that leak details of my piece because we actually did it and I actually have evidence that it was my idea and I also have the words from somebody else and I also you know and you piece it together and like this quickening and quaking within because I'm not a bad person I don't do this to other people and it, it makes me very uh, you know it's a sense of betrayal, but maybe not so extreme of a word. I'm not sure what to say. Obviously, I'm handling it well if this is the truth, right? And it's not gossip. I really want to know, please, because like I said, we're going to find out anyway, and we'll probably find out sooner than later. And we do have to write a dissertation and a report about this because some things are nothing and some things are something. Even if it leads to something else that gives us answers, we need to know. But anyway, getting back to this, um, you know, the age of the paper can be documented and tested. Uh, we have the files, we have which are dated, we have everything. And, um, you know, so I was getting done with sharing. I, I'm here, you know, I don't know if you want to call me a fool, but <laughs> I'm maybe naive. I don't know. I really don't think I am, but I, I trust. And um, not expecting those who I love the most may have done the worst to me. We already have evidence of emails of another, basically, I'm saying I can't do this anymore with you, this back and forward and this harm being caused to me and saying I gotta leave and then them trying to thank me for their Christmas gift and then they leave me a note and then two weeks even before anything bad happened, they basically uh, were trying to file a false complaint against me of things that like saying that I was being a disruption and distraction in class and everything that they cited in their complaint happened outside of class and not even in their class or after class. So you can't use that as being disruptive in class. And you can't hold somebody um, at fault or, you know, try to punish them because they have, they're pregnant or they have an illness or cancer and in some cases, I was experiencing symptoms like that. So I was told many times, you're gonna get sick, get your out the door. And I'm like, you got it. <laughs> so instead of making a scene in class, you run out the door and you throw up someplace else. I have my water bottle with me, you know. that That is water under the bridge, but I'm just saying, there's something that has not been resolved to not only my liking, but it's just not stopping for some reason. And I'm not okay with this because somebody is purposely harming me and my family and purposely trying to destroy and steal. And I need to know what the heck is going on. Like I said, we're gonna find out the truth one way or another. I need to have a good life. I need to go forward and I can't, this is an anchor. I'm being blacklisted. I'm, well, I'll just watch all my other videos. This is what's happening. And if this little element is a part of it, or if this little element can shed light on the bigger aspect of it, I need to know. 
I mean, wouldn't you want to know if people were, I mean, look at, look at the pictures online, what's been happening? Because of my intellectual property, because of who I knew, because of who I worked for, I mean, right? We gotta consider all this. So anyway, uh, so I know who got these. I wanna know why this is happening. Was a couple ideas here. Let's explore this. So we were talking about it here because it was just kind of illuminating things. And we're like, well, could it have been something like this? That that place um, has some kind of vetting thing where they actually have to do this behind the scenes? That's how they get held, you know, accountable for doing something wrong so they can move up the ladder or I mean I'm just I don't know I do know that that does happen is that the case here I don't know and um, or, or is it again the bigger entity that hunted me down in a sense and forced these people that I submitted this to for consideration and said no you got to do this to this person because we actually own her which they don't um, and I do want to say something upon a few occasions when I pitched some of my ideas. There was another one, um, Emergence, and uh, that was supposed to take place underwater, and we did test shots. I mean, we were like extremely professional. And then I see excerpts and actual storyboarded shots in somebody else's piece, and I actually called them up and I'm like, what are you doing with this? This looks exactly like my piece, how it was going to be intended, except, remember that? Yes. Except we were going to green screen it, you know, some differences here and there. And I'm like, hmm. And then the timing of certain faculty coming on board, and I was like, hmm, that's very interesting to me. Um, you know, so you go to the person you're most directly involved with to say, you hold them accountable, and they said, no, no, no. Okay, then if not you, then how did this get out? Because this is not, obviously, it wasn't the first time. I can count four times, I do believe, from the same source. There was a few people involved, so I don't know who. I got some ideas, so could have been a cycling, maybe one of each, or maybe two times and then two times, or maybe one time and three times, or maybe all came from the same place. I don't know. Um, I mean, I do know a little bit, but I, again, I don't want to falsely accuse. I just want to find out what the heck is going on and why, why me? Not in a, you know, why me, poor is me, woe is me, is sympathy type of thing. But I, I do need to know why I was chosen for this horrible honor, if that indeed is what it is. But I'm like, wait a minute, you know, not that you forget everything, but I have a big, busy life and I do a lot of different things. So I'm like, why is this so close to what I did? and the timing, and I'm like, hmm. You know, were these people all put in my life? This is another theory, and in some places, yes, we have found out that some people were actually injected into my life. Because, you know, I went to school here in this area once before, and I have to say that this area has changed. It's very much Stepford Wives-ish. Very something not right, you know? With, with a lot that's going on. Very uh, Truman Show-esque almost, but not. And uh, we have evidence of a certain they actually trying to do that in real life and failed, which now I'm looking back and I'm like really glad. But anyway, how does this have to do with me? I want to know why certain elements of my pitches and very, very detailed portions of it ended up in somebody else's work. Who leaked this and why do it? Yeah, pretty much. Um, 
you know, and I want to be careful here, but I remember, and I think you do too, a couple times when we, we were pitching, and I say we because not all the time was I alone. I had dancers with me or just other people with me and a family member, an assistant. Um, and upon occasion, it was very strange because I, if I didn't know any better, one of them was loaded, don't you think? Probably. A yeah. little blitzed. Uh, <laughs> snockered, snockered. Snockered. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, you hate me that much, or you love me that much. You hate me that much, you can't stand me, and you just want to, you know, anesthetize yourself. Or you knew what was going on behind the scenes, and you loved me so much, and you just didn't want me to go through it, and you didn't want to see me, the innocent lamb brought to the slaughter type of thing. It's an exaggeration. I, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas. We're discussing it, so we all have a lot of ideas. I, I can say that I was not treated right, and um, it looks more and more convincing to me that what we are gathering actually really did happen. And, you know, the same place is where my family and I contracted a virus, too. And I don't know if that's just some coincidence thing. I don't know if there was intent. I once said behind the scenes, and you can testify for this, that, you know, because I was really brutally ill at one time, and I caught something, I got over it, but I said, and I, I said in private, but now knowing what we know about the eavesdropping issue, uh, I said if I were to ever get sick like that again, you know, I would want somebody to go through it with me so I would know it wasn't all my imagination. There would be somebody else to testify, no, I have these symptoms too. Remember that? Yeah. I was just talking about comparison of what I went through, what would have made me feel better. I was not saying, hey, let's go through this again. <laughs> and not too long after that, this virus, there was all these cases of this virus that broke out in this, this place. And there's been a lot of strange stuff going on there. You know, I would hate to think that it was a little habit trail, you know, to do experiments <laughs> in a very rudimentary way, for lack of better terminology to say. Uh, let's hope not. But, uh, you know, all I know is that my medical records are missing. And if they appear all of a sudden after we have documentation and witnesses saying that that was missing, you know, it still doesn't uh, negate the fact that it was and they were missing. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot to, to answer for. I want to know what we caught too. So all of these things we're thinking about, like I said, some things could be something and some things can be absolutely nothing. We don't want to falsely accuse. We just, A, want to stop my stuff being stolen from. We want to have our bodies healed, so we'd like to know what the hell we have. Uh, three years now, from March 2017. Um, yeah. But, um, you know, I've been treated, which is very well documented, very, very badly at the same place. And, you know, looking back, it kind of makes sense now, because I'm not going to say, like I said, names and stuff like that, but, uh, wow. Wow. I didn't realize I was hated for being a good person. I want to know who put people up to certain things. I, I just want to know. And like I said, it's going to be found out. It'll go better for you if you come and help us. The law provides for that. And um, let's hope it's not from my beloveds, like uh, we're kind of putting together. And uh, let, let's just hope for the best. But. Uh, in, in our experience, we've been, like, right almost 100% of the time, unfortunately, with all this stuff. So, you know, wow. Hmm. But it's in your best interest to come forward and say, did somebody put you up to it? You will be protect protected, you know. And plus, you know, there's a love factor. I, I love you guys very much. Um, but if somebody else, a third party, was coercing you, then yeah, you are protected. And 
we would both be the victims in a sense. So, you know, wow, what a disgusting, horrible thing to have happen. And here I am coming off of my cancer treatment, wanting to start over again, putting it all behind. Uh, we had to sell our house to pay for our treatment because we weren't on a film project. We didn't have insurance and I couldn't go through what my grandmother went through. I took her to her cancer treatments. I said, there has to be a better way. We found that way. Obviously it worked for me, but you know, if you have cancer or any disease, do whatever it is, medications, experimental treatments, whatever combination, do whatever you need to, that you feel good with, that you need to do to save your life. I'm not against anything. I am all for everything. When somebody is dying or their lives are threatened with a disease, you go for it. You get whatever help you need to. That was the choice we made. It was a good choice in my case. You know, what what is going on exactly? You know, is all this connected? Uh, is all this just, you know, just real wicked people that I just happened to come across that had very evil intentions? I want to know. Like I said, we're gonna find out one way or another. It'll go better for you if you just say, hey, oh my God, <laughs> I've got some news for you. And some things we kind of already figured out. But, you know, also if I'm right, I mean this with love and respect, but please forgive me for my choice of words, but shame on you if you actually did what we we, not just me, I am here with, I have a board member, family, and, you know, myself, um, because I really, I still do love you and did, but this is, what kind of abuse, <laughs> wow, you know, wow. And there's not enough backpedaling anybody can do at this point, because like I said, we've got people helping us that supersede you all. And like I said, truth's gonna be found out one way or another. Be on the right side of these issues, beloved. Beloveds, hopefully not more than one, oh my God. One is bad enough. So it is what it is, you know? Like I said, I just getting through my cancer innocently saying, hey, I just want to start back at my beginning, like my books document. My Nana said, you lose your way. I didn't quite lose my way. I just, you know, was very sickly or having been sick and recovering. And I wanted to use dance as my salve to heal me and to get back into it. Wow. And how epic is this? How epic of God is this? And if you are one of my beloveds and you're listening to this, um, I'm actually hurting for you if what we're thinking and have put together is true because I couldn't imagine being in your shoes right now, listening to this, saying, oh my God, they know. Oh my God, they figured it out. I was promised. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just saying, hypothetically, were you promised that it would never be found out? Or did you take a big chance knowing that it could? Or, you know, why would you think I would never amount to anything? You all knew I already was somebody in the film industry. You already knew that I was a dancer. I didn't say all of my stuff because I didn't want you guys to be affronted by my experience. But it looks like, looking back now, I should have bragged the heck out of it because you all lifted up everybody else who bragged about their beginnings and what they did when I had more. That's a true test of somebody's humility. I didn't brag. I never acted like I knew better than you. Upon occasion, I had to correct somebody because they were doing something wrong. But, you know... I would like to know. And like I was saying, I feel for you because I wouldn't want to be you hearing me knowing that you're probably conflicted because I know y'all liked me, if not loved me, based on treatment, but then that's why I think somebody might have put you up to this. And then why would you do it? Why did you sell me out? 
you know, Jesus was sold out by Judas for, what was it, 30 pieces of silver or something? It really wasn't enough. I'm not going to go be sacrificed on an altar. I am not Savior. So that ain't going to happen. Plus, I have too many people protecting me at this time. And um, my son, if not my husband, will kick somebody's little rear end if I don't do it first, if somebody lays a hand on me. Um, you know, and I'm not saying you beloveds would do that, but if there's somebody behind it all that might or something, look, I need to know why would you do something like this if this is the case? All I know is that lies never stay buried, especially when you have a good, strong Christian or even a good, strong Jewish person or just a good, strong person who lives a good life. The truth always wicks its way to the top. I've talked about this once before. You know, carpet and the dirt, it gets embedded deep, 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 and it gets buried deep, 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 and you can keep cleaning it, and then it's wicked to the top, and you're like, wait, I just washed this. And then you wash it again, and you use one of those handy-dandy little vacuum washing, sucking machines, right? And you wick the next layer until you get all the dirt up. And then you have this container of dirt, because you use one of those handy-dandy vacuum wet-dry sucker-uppers. <laughs> A wet-dry vacuum. And uh, you have this container of all this dirt. Think of it as your sin or your bad deeds that you did. And then all of this is laid out before you. It's finally clean because the truth came to light. Like I was saying, truth always finds a way. Always. Life always finds a way. Um, yeah. Good people always find a way. Not just religiously good people, but good people in general. And um, I found a way. So as hard as this may be, even for me to comprehend that this could be a possibility, and as hard as it is for you to maybe, if we're right, to know that we found you out, uh, like I said, it's better for you to come to us and confess and let's get this taken care of so we can really put the real bad guys to the test. If not, you're going to go down with them and nothing would grieve me more because I'm not kidding. You know how much I love you guys. I've been making videos about how much I love you guys. I've written books and I could have written them because it was the honest truth telling the entire truth but I I just basically said that is for another time and I only touched upon it and I always said but they might have been going through something that I always tried to make like an excuse without making an excuse because I don't condone abusers um, plus I don't know the, their side of the story I respect them enough and yeah so I did my best but I could have because it was documented and it was true I could have and would not have been sued because it was documented and true. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I was very noble and very tactful. And now I'm wondering if I made the right choice because apparently there was more that was going on behind the scenes against me that never should have happened. I did nothing to deserve this and you all know that as fact. So what made you go to those depths if indeed this is the factual truth why you know i didn't do anything wrong i loved on all of you to in to the extent that i was the one in need does that make sense in my need i did what christ would have done and i didn't realize that you could have been an enemy maybe not let's hope Let's hope for the best here, but it's looking pretty bad. Not for me, for you guys. And, um, you know, let, let's see if we can work this out. Because here's the thing, the more lies that are told to cover this up, you're just gonna be held more liable. Really, I'm giving you an opportunity to help here. I don't have to do this. I don't. I could turn my emotions on on and off like a light switch, especially now because I've, I've had a younger mentor, right? 
teach me how to do this and I've been a more happier person. You know, I don't like to be like that. I really do like to love. I like to experience a relationship and help and be there for people. But, um, you know, what kind of hearts have I been sowing the seed of love into? How black are the hearts? How dark? Um, and how deep does that pit of darkness go? The Bible talks about that a lot, and it can go very, very deeply. So hopefully not, you know. So forgive me if I and my team and family and board members are wrong. That's why we did not disclose names. But if we're right, there's going to be a problem. Hmm. So yeah, better be on our side. Be on the right side of these issues. And wow, what a dawning. You know, you get all these pieces and I'm like, huh. Wow. Oh yeah. And as I'm making the video, not this one, but the prior one, about, you know, it was uh, special effects, costume and makeup and stuff like that, which my cancer piece called for. You know. Wow. And it's also a lack of respect, if this is indeed true, that you were showing me. Great lack of respect. Because I never did this to you. Y'all are creative enough, I think, to come up with your own ideas. Then glean from me. Or to act like a hero with our fellow colleague or colleagues. So you look like you contributed something, not well, no, realizing that it wasn't even your own thoughts, but mine and my ideas. Ideas are not necessarily a dime a dozen beloveds, especially in this case, uh, because there's such a plethora of it, and uh, it's gonna stop. Oh my god. Yeah. So no, this is not a reflection of my character, and even though I might feel like I was fooled. I am not a fool. Uh, this reflects badly upon those who did anything to me. Not me. Doesn't reflect badly upon me. Um, you know, I trusted and if that trust was betrayed, th this, is, this is the end of the line for all of this. I have lived my life apparently being stolen from and being pushed down. It's the same pattern. It was the same pattern again. And, you know, being told to go to the back. I'm not good enough. When I would watch videos and saying, um, besides for me being dysgraphic, dyslexic, and putting up a left arm when it should have been a right arm, I was better. And I'm not being, you know, bitter or anything like that, but, um, you know, I did not deserve what was done to me at all. And um, anybody who knows anything about the eavesdropping and all of this needs to fess up and come forward and let us know. Like I said, I said this maybe 10 times in this video. We're gonna find out anyway. Better for us to find out from you where you can not control the narrative, but control how it gets to me. So maybe you're not painted as badly because if we get it from another source, I'm pretty sure you're going to be painted in a way that may not be, it won't be inaccurate, but it'll make you seem worse than what you are because these other people uh, don't care. <laughs> They're like, what's the fact? Let's find this out. What's supportive of it? You know, relationally, relationships, that's not, that's not their concern. It's my concern. But then again, uh, you know, how could you even call yourself a friend? Let's just put it that lightly if you were doing anything like this to me. That ain't a friend. A friend shows themselves friendly and doesn't do this. Um, yeah, wow, wow. And I wasn't looking for any, see what I mean? The stuff just falls in our laps and we were digging through boxes. They, these things were put away and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. And then when I see these things in real life, I'm like, 
you cock your head, you look to your beloveds, you look to your family members that may be watching the same thing you are, and you're like, WTF, right? Yeah. And this whole thing, well, artists come up with the same thing at the same time. I'm starting to see that as a fallacy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, we did end up putting this person, my colleague, a fellow colleague of another, you need to consider me as a colleague and not your little itty bitty baby student or itty bitty baby whatever. I, I more than well grew up well. Did you not see the Lois Greenfield calendar, my books? Please. Come on, I'm not bragging or having a, you know, that kind of pumped up heart, but I need, you need to respect me a little bit more because I've earned it. I'm not going around treating you all like a piece of dirt like I was. So, yeah. You know, they say that respect is earned, not given. Well, I earned the respect. I didn't treat anybody with disrespect. But sometimes the respect you give is not reflected back because those people are disrespectful to begin with. Um, wow. I'm not going to say there are no words. I've got plenty to say. Um, so hopefully somehow this video will be made apparent to you, anybody out there who is helping us. I don't know. I don't feel in my heart right now to send these people the link. I just hope that somehow God will lead them to it to watch. That's why I want it all in one video with a dissolve. It'll be a little longer than others, but you need to watch this in full. Yeah, wow. Just wow. I came as a friend. Wow. Anyway, but God bless all of you. And um, wow, I'm proud of myself because I can actually say this without falling to pieces or falling into tears or despair. Uh, strength. I'm sure you've noticed I've become a lot stronger since you first met me. But you also have to face the fact that I was just coming off of a really bad ordeal fighting for my life. And this last time fighting for my life, I've learned a lot from the first time fighting for my life. Um, I'm really, really strong. I have feelings though, and I'm concerned for you and where your heart is. Boy, do you need the salvation and love of Jesus Christ and God in your heart more than anything and, and more now than ever, because you need to also understand forgiveness. I did a video about that very important. Judas hung himself. Don't do that. <laughs> Not saying you would, but don't fall into despair. I love you that much that I can, I can, I can get over this. I really can. Um, and I love you that much. I don't want that for you. And then you have the example of Peter who repented and he kept him with the repentance. That's where I want you. I want us to still have a good relationship and relationships could be made stronger. Now it doesn't mean that I might not get mad. It doesn't mean that I might not cry over it at some point or it might not mean that I'll act perfectly around you knowing if this is the case that it, this is what happened. That's how you make a relationship stronger and you help me and I help you. So don't accept false guilt but accept guilt and repair your heart, give yourself unto the Lord. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. Um, and he will guide you, um, but please do not do this. This is kind of why I think, and we all on this end think that this is the case, because it will explain why some have been behaving awkwardly around me, like they stole something from me, <laughs> and then passive aggressively treating me badly even though they were the ones who should have been you know treating me well it does you no good 
Oh, wait, where's that one quote? I wrote. It does you no good to act passive aggressively towards me and abuse me in any way, shape, or form because you did something bad to me. You know, it reflects your heart, of course, not mine, but I, you know, I've worked with a lot of people who have abused and who were abused, and um, this is something that seems to couple it and be a companion, whether welcomed or not. Um, here, there, there is a guilt. Hold on. My handy dandy little magnifying glass thing helps me read. There is a guilt that brings about death and a guilt that leads to freedom. However, false guilt can be the cruelest of all. Neither having been earned by deed or alleviated by repentance, you must you must heal from the past so that you can have a future. That's mine. If you've done wrong, your conscience will eat at you until you make it right no matter what you do. Be careful, beloved. The stains of wrongdoing don't wash off so quick, quickly. A clear conscience rests easy. Oh, the weight of the poor soul who goes to bed with a heavy with a guilty conscience, with a heavy guilty conscience. The Bible says do not go to bed or do not let the sun go down on your sin or your anger or your wrongdoing, depending on how you look at it. And so this is from my several of my books. Do I have this, that little passage in? It's mine. You heard someplace else I stole it. Uh, <laughs> so, um... I, that's what I want to say to you guys. Uh, I'm going to be the bigger person here. Apparently, God has led me to a whole bunch of broken hearts that I know because you either shared it verbally with me or you put it in your artwork or God gave me discernment or somehow that you've been abused too. So, you know, fellow sufferer in, in, in abuse, I get it, but that does not give you the right to take your unhealed heart that just festered with more wound and more disease all these years, you got to give yourself to Christ. There's no other way. I don't know of another way. If somebody knows of another way, tell me so I can then add that to my arsenal of helping people. But to me, the people that actually were healed, like for real, really healed of anything was through through God. Doing that which we cannot do for ourselves. It doesn't mean you just lay around and you pray and you hope it gets worked out. There's an infection in your body and you didn't do anything about it. Say you have an infection in your mouth and you lost all your teeth. <laughs> you have to go to a dentist. There has to be surgery. So you have to go to the doctor. In this case, it is God. God is a doctor of the broken hearted and the wounded soul, okay? Um, wow, this is pretty deep. <laughs> I like to go here. I would rather just dance and do my thing, but uh, you know, if you all need help, here I am. Maybe I was sent on ahead. Maybe I was sent for this purpose only. I write in one of my books that I wasn't just sent there just to heal my body and get back into dancing. I was there for another purpose, a good purpose. Starting to kind of think that that's, I think I need to write another volume <laughs> or two maybe because this, this isn't, complete yet. God is a God of completion. And he finishes what he starts in you, in me, in everyone. Whether you are one who calls him Abba Father or not, he uses everything and everybody for his glory. Not too thrilled with it, but I mean, I wish I could change it for myself and you. If I were God, and I'm not, I would have it differently, but then it would be very fallible because I am only a stupid human being. Not really, but let's size it up. God, huge, bigger than me, bigger than you, and me.
So I'm glad he does his thing, and I'm glad I don't, because I would have messed it up. But nonetheless, we have something else to deal with here. Let's figure this out together. Oh my gosh, you need you need to be on the right side of this. I, I don't, I have plenty of time, I'm fine. But y'all don't. That's not a threat or anything like that. What I mean by that is that there is a deadline to how much longer you know, we can wait before prosecuting or before we turn in the next report or before we, you know, go through the uh, discovery phase. We have things at all different places and all different levels. We're doing so much. I have this big thing in my life that I'm excavating and I didn't put it there on my own accord. Evil people put it there. And if you were coerced to do something, I, I need I need to know. Like, and the deadline is soon enough. You know, don't be scared. Like I said, I have absolutely nothing, <laughs> and I have everything on the line at the same time. And I'm not afraid. So don't you be, and come help us. You gotta make it known, otherwise we don't know. Lord, please let them find this video. Please give them the courage to talk with me. So many times I've asked, hey, let's go out to lunch, not realizing that it might have been more for your benefit than mine. Um, please, oh my God, please, 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 please. For your own sake i love you i love you this much i love you that much all of you oh god anything else i need to say am mm. i forgetting anything that i wouldn't know i mean i could always make another video i really don't want to not on this this is really it's hard um come on now fess up let us know. Love me for a change. Yes? So many times I've loved you. You all. Okay, so, uh, once a bee fly, always a bee fly. That is how I'm looking at it. So I still love that much. They're working on the Performing Arts Center. You can hear it, huh? Yeah. I actually, I kind of can't wait. I, I love that kind of stuff, obviously. But uh, anyway, more on that another time. Signing off. Ugh. Much love. Bye. So hi, beautifuls and beloveds. Uh, so after deliberating some more we're adding even more to this almost lengthy video because um I, I just need to know what happened to me during this time because it's a uh, Something is very wrong. Uh, not with what I did, not with my artwork, but I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, this is brilliant, genius work. These are ideas in embryo, and um, as you can see, uh, some of this has already been implemented in dances that I did, and there's nothing really to be nasty or mean about in any way shape or form um but you know we we looked at communication and like i need to know what actually went down because this is unacceptable and i know this happened a long time ago and i would like this to be water under the bridge however there are good reasons why this can't be water under the bridge because whatever happened to me against my will 
is affecting my life from here forward as we are concerned about this may or may not be connected to the bigger picture it may be a portion of it or it may just be an annoying an annoying outside element that just circles around it or I, we've got to figure this out I'm a human being my family is human are human beings my company has human beings as members and you know I was treated like a piece of garbage. Worse than that, I'm trying to clean up my language because, you know, it's just something I'm trying to do, but I, I, wow, you know, we're just looking at stuff. I was really a big person to just kind of like, mm, okay, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. But you know, and this again that I pitched, this was a smaller portion of the bigger part. As you know, I make really big pieces. I start small and I add throughout the years until it's completed. And sometimes I can do the very big piece quicker all at once. Sometimes it takes just trial and error. Um, Let this be my last battleground is the name of the bigger piece. As you've seen Rosewood, you've seen other excerpts of the bigger piece. Let this be my last battleground. We've done portions of it for um, the American Cancer Society. As you know, I, I work doing this kind of stuff. And other um, nonprofits and other places. And I do know that doing a dance about cancer does not have to be pushed aside and say, oh, you could only do that for cancer appropriate places or means or events. Because I have colleagues that did cancer pieces and it was just a very nice, remember? Mm -hmm. I saw it three times. I was a big fan. Um, you know, so that's not going to work. Um, I was told a lot of really horrible things in the process of doing this, and uh, my behavior wasn't wrong. We were looking at the communication, and it's just, wow. You know, part of that happened because I just don't have any patience with people treating me like dirt. Um, and then I also don't think that these people understood that I already was somebody. Just because I didn't brag about it didn't mean that they had to treat me like I was a nobody or a piece of dirt that should be treated the way I was treated. And I don't necessarily know if it came directly from them apart from anything else or if it was pushed that way. I do know that for some reason Whenever that time came around, sometimes some of them, not all of them, could get a little uh, puffed up in pride and in their heads and, you know, I don't know if it's because y'all didn't go as far as I did or, or what the situation was. I don't want to presume, but um, I wasn't the only one with that opinion and, um, you know, it was pretty bad behavior. and. Look, I, I don't really necessarily want to go back and revisit this like this, but like I said, this could be a very important part of an investigation. What happened exactly? I want to know the truth. I need to know why I was treated badly. I need to know if it was just, like I said, a just unfortunate, isolated event that doesn't have to deal with everything else we're dealing with because there's a lot of familiar patterns that happened there with this bigger picture? Um, or is this the world just filled with rotten people? Not all of you, okay, but some. Uh, and I just happen to keep running into a lot of rotten people. I, I don't think that's what it is. There's something else here that we're looking at. Um, this whole thing with uh, what this was, this section, it was my particular character. There are three main characters. 
and in this particular piece because you wouldn't let me do the whole 50 minute thing that I wanted to do and over time you know got to flesh it out more I had to pick a segment that I wanted to work on and instead of doing rosewood I wanted to do the piece called let this be my last battleground which shared the name of the whole bigger piece so let this be my last battleground was going to be the whole 50 minute piece and this little section rosewood is a section of this as well and you know wow because i've seen what's come out of that place and you've seen my work and really uh, for some i please i'm not addressing you the ones that we've actually addressed this about, to and about you know because we've made amends and that's that is water under the, under the bridge but some of you we've never been able to talk about this and i didn't think it was necessary but we're here looking at so many things and our investigative skills have gotten sharper and we know how to look for things and understand things and really before we turn this over we have to do this now i would like to know wtf why was there anybody else involved were you put to task to do something wrong to me i really really for your own sakes i need to know um because there's there's certain things here like i mentioned in the other video a mesh cap covers head there's certain elements in this proposal and i know who has copies of it and why these elements ended up right yeah he he even saw it we have the dvd even and we have my stuff too i i didn't take your guys's word for it saying oh no this is not acceptable for whatever reason you know i could tell you what i did change in these things and um you know what i want to go back and add into it again but wow wow just wow see i was i was telling you that i made these portfolio remember mm -hmm. and then we found this because i'm making a series of videos this is what i do i'm getting back to it and here it is the actual drawing of the portfolios that i gave to four people and each one of them had one of these four words and really i think it was almost quite prophetic because i think y'all got the right words on your portfolio but you know this is my creativity that was from my real life and as you know my family has died from cancer you saw the obits online i know that because we were connected on social media or you just so happened to snoop and look which you know it's public information i don't care that's fine but you know i wasn't lying about my cancer it runs in the family obviously and i'm part of that family i'm lucky everybody else died i was supposed to die twice now you know and i did have to go through another bout of it i have to keep dealing i'm probably gonna ha i mean right i'm probably gonna have to deal with this my whole life on some level um to keep myself healthy i made a choice in treatments and uh you know there's certain things that came along with that and i'm not gonna apologize for it but I was treated very badly over the whole thing. I couldn't, especially at the time, now I don't care because, you know, the truth is out. I wrote a book. I'm being persecuted, my family, there's stuff stolen. I got an alternative treatment, not just once. You know, I was reading just recently about, because I have to, I have to look at this stuff, why I didn't have a local doctor because I had gone to another country to get treatment. That that makes me mad. I didn't have to tell anybody that, but yeah, I was being pressed for all this information. And I'm like, I really can't tell you and it's none of your business, but I'm still trying to be a friend and explain things. 
you know, um, you remember that whole thing? It was yeah. it was terrible. I was treated so wrongfully and, and terribly. And I kept having the doctor, yeah, from another country, faxing notes, more notes, and more notes. Is this enough? Is this enough? What, what more do you need? I, I, you know, to answer all of your questions. And the thing is, you didn't, you shouldn't, Mm, we weren't supposed to do that, you know? And I'm trying to be cool about it by saying, hey, this is the problem. And I didn't cause you a problem. I s kept you out of it as much as possible. I didn't even want to tell you about it. I didn't want to tell anybody about it. There's other people around me. They'll worry. You better say something or they'll get worried. And I'm like, all right, all right. You know her better than me. You know them better than me. So I'll say something. And I, I wish to God I didn't say anything now. You know, not now, but even back then. And I really don't want to keep going through this. But I have pieces in my life, right, that just keep resurfacing. This, this is something here. This was my life that I went through. And... This stuff wasn't a reflection of you all. This was just, you know, basically what I went through at the cancer clinic. The whole 50 minute, however long, you know, it is piece, the bigger piece, and the little sections, but it, this is just, you know, the dream sequence. Each character goes through a, a sequence where they, they shine, because I know there was an issue of me being the focus, the focal point. Well. That's my thing. I made a business out of it and people like it. I'm not always dancing in all my pieces, but you know, too bad. Uh, to make that such a, a, a thing to treat somebody badly over is just preposterous. You know, I, I'm not trying to blow this up and out of proportion again. I, already it's water under the bridge, at least for some involved. Um, but some, we have an issue here. <laughs> because, uh, you know, wow. And, you know, uh, we were listening to the music again, and this music has been used, some of y'all even used some of the music, and I, I don't particularly care, it's not our copyright. This music was not my husband's stuff but it was just things that were perfect. And uh, like I said, I've seen other things come out of that place that, you know, hey, fine, everybody has, uh, and, and they're entitled to their opinion, and so am I. And my opinion is that I was treated very wrong, and uh, it's, and the more we dig and look at this, I and mean, it's only been a couple hours, few hours, and we're digging, and we're like, oh my gosh, and we're looking at other things that are connected to this, and like, so it doesn't only look like I was treated badly, which, you know, the wounding is more than healed from that, but um, looks like somebody leaked this stuff out to a colleague that we both had in common, and I, I need to know why that was done because that's not professional, and yet I was being accused during this, because we have it, we have it, that I was less than anything. And I'm like, um, I think there's hypocrisy going on, or went on, and it it's not okay, but it would explain why I was continuously treated bad, because y'all felt guilty about treating me badly. So, you know, the guilt that brings death, and yet the guilt that brings about life because you repented from the guilt. Guilt is good. It sucks at the same time, but you can grow from it. And I think it's time that you stop treating me badly for whatever the reasons are, but most likely it's your issue because I, I've not done anything. And uh, yes, I do stand up for myself and I do tell people to knock it off. Now, if somebody is cajoling you to treat me badly because they have a more omniscient view and they're listening to me here in my own privacy of my own home or we're walking in that place, they're not supposed to use any surveillance against people 
Meaning, if you have security cameras, you're not supposed to, hey, they were talking about you and you hand it to that person. There's actually a crime if that is going on. I don't know what that would be classified as. But you, you're not supposed to do that. And I just, I, I need to know what, what's going on. Because, you know, a lot of this has already been done. Um, like I said, I didn't take you all at your word. Uh, because I, I am an artist and I have to take that risk whether you like it or not so you know and I get it you have every right to your opinion but I do too and now if something above and beyond just being nasty with me because whatever you got high and mighty and puffed up in your own pride because, hey, you're producing a show. I, I never did that to anybody. Look at, I produced off-Broadway. I produced Emmy-nominated pieces. Just don't start with me now. If you really, I have, and I won't, and I don't, I have more right to be puffed up in pride than you all do. Um, but I don't do that. And you know that for a fact. So... Right? Am, am I missing this? Am I? Seems good to me. Okay. And I have him here with me right now. He was just on the sidelines and we have beloveds floating around, right? Um, because, you know, he, he was a strong witness to a lot of this stuff. My Lord and Savior was as well. And um, he has a way of bringing things full circle and he has a way of wicking, like I was saying in the previous portion in the same video, the truth to the surface, like the carpet cleaning example I gave. And I, I don't like that I'm finding this truth out. I don't like that I'm finding out facts. So you really have to come to the conclusion, this column right here, repentance. Don't let the guilt eat you up because it kind of explains now to me why there was aggression towards me. People who feel that guilty do that kind of a thing. Just stop. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect either. I know I never did this to you guys, so please. Um, this is good. You know, I had forgotten that I wrote this, but I remembered elements because like I said, I, I already used them. It was shocking is seeing them in somebody else's work. I was like, how did that happen? Because I did mine way in advance before this came out, obviously. And, um, you know, it, it's brilliant. It was supposed to be, um, I don't know if over the top is the right thing, but it was supposed to be exaggerated. And as I went along and choreographed things, you know, I pulled range some things in because I'm like no that doesn't quite work or you know what we're going to use that for another piece but it was a learning supposedly a learning environment what better place to try something like this really and you were supposed to be loving and helpful that's part of what y'all get paid for <laughs> yeah I read all of the criteria for your positions and what you're supposed to do. While the word loving isn't used, that's what it's equated to. I'm just a loving, Christian, godly individual without trying to pull some spiritual prideful rank on you. And you're supposed to be nurturing is a better way of putting it. Technically, that is what it comes down to. It is supposed to be an educational thing. So why not allow me to make the mistake and then we pull it back and shape it instead of lording, instead of demanding, instead of saying it must be this way or you are horrible and then I get passive aggressive treatment this is not a concentration camp, I don't think. Um, yeah, but it, it, very abusive. And the 
that that's water under the bridge but now finding this stuff out and putting the pieces together and saying oh my god well no wonder that other person had elements of my work in there this is the common access point i mean right Whew. so um you know that's an issue and like I said, I had a nice conversation with this person before they passed on, and it, it what that person said is now, oh my gosh, that's what they meant by it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, holy crap, again, I didn't do anything to deserve this, holy crap. And now you're putting me in a very bad position because I have to notify and let other people know who are helping me and my family know what else we uncovered because that's the way it goes. So your best bet is to fess up. Your best bet is to be an emotional wreck, cry, scream, whatever you do, and let us know everything because, like I said, we're going to uncover it all, and we're managing to do that just based on our information and other documentation. So it's, uh, yeah, you really should just fuss up uh, because, like I said, I got a light switch on off. I, I, I just can't. I can love you to a point, but holy crap. I mean, right? You read some of this already. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, it's pretty big stuff. Just wow. Wow. This is a form of hatred towards another human being. Me. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Wow. I just, I don't know, playing me for a fool, didn't think I'd amount to anything and it would be safe. God uncovers everything, even my own crap, I mean, right? Mm -hmm. Even though I'm a pretty decently good human being, he doesn't let anybody get away with anything, nothing at all. We all face our reckoning. And, you know, I'm trying to be cool because I know what it's like to have to face, oh crap, I did this. I'm the one wearing the, the yoke, you know, in a sense. And it's embarrassing and it feels stupid and, you know, you don't want to really hurt that person, but you wanted to look a certain way in front of somebody else, like a hero or, I mean, I know the motivations behind things because I'm a human being and I've ministered to people. I've read the Bible, so. You can make it up to me. You really can. Uh, now would be a good time to start. Because this is, if I've got to do what I've got to do, it's going to go to certain people and that's going to make it worse for you. There's no backpedaling room in this because these people know how to find out who's right. Who try to make up an excuse for why certain things are the way they are. So, yeah. Dikes. Okay. See, when things like this happen to me, I keep thinking, oh my God, don't let me ever do this to somebody. It's not about getting caught. It's just that I know what I'm experiencing and I don't want to do that to somebody else. And it makes me want to just look in my past and say, did I do this to somebody else? I need to apologize to them or make it right, you know? Yeah. I say, oh my god, I was an asshole, I gotta make it, I mean, I go through so much, but I realize this. I'm just, wow. You know, and I just wanted to have something, a really good piece to, um, to present. It, it says it right here. Because, you know, I wanted to get my master's degree. That's another story.
But this happened with more than just this piece with the same place. Now it's making sense. Now all of this is making sense. Like I said, did somebody put you up to it? Did somebody say, um, resource, this girl is a resource against your own will and you were told that this is what you had to do? Or is it just a coincidence parallel with the same thing that we're dealing with? There are questions here. I do know that the entity that is troubling us did a, um, what do you call it? A, um, what do you call it? Crap. A tutorial, uh, you know, seminar, seminar teaching seminar because I, I did complain about administration. I wasn't talking about the secretaries, although I'm glad you guys did that. You know, the clerks at the front desk or something like that. When I use the word administration, like I meant like, um, and I'm not saying President Trump did this, I'm saying, but like you have an administration, the presidential administration. I was talking about that entity's administration, not administrative staff. The administration who who's the higher upper echelon leadership of that one place needed to be taught a thing or two because they had very poor skills and it, I was not talking about admin clerks but nonetheless this entity that's troubling me called a corporate conglomerate or something like that it seems that they have affiliation with this other entity circles running around circles here and um, did a, a training seminar that's right on how to treat people because they have supposedly a notorious reputation for how to treat their guests I differ with opinions on that but that's for another day I really need to know Hold on a second. Let me look at something. Just looking at something. Gosh, guys. Very disappointed. With each passing minute, with each flipping of more pages it's more and more looking like what I previously thought at the beginning of this video and at the time too remember when we saw that person's okay yeah or that person's choreography mm -hmm. and their their piece and I'm like remember that it was mm -hmm. like wait this looks like Wait a minute, how? That's awfully coincidental. It's not a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences, especially anymore. There's somehow, some way, something going on. Somewhere. And I think we've figured it out. I think we've figured it out. So, with that said, I also want these people to hear this from me. Do you know the hell my family has been put through? Do you know the hell I have been put through for a great deal of my life because this whatever the they are, and I said we do know some things and some things we don't know for sure. Since I was a little girl, teenager, oh. <laughs> I did nothing wrong at all. This was unbeknownst to me before I even knew any of you guys, but it's it's looking like there's a connection here. And I did not deserve it at all. So now you guys have to not be afraid and you gotta help me here for your own sakes, for your own good. And I do understand that some involved in this matter may not be completely involved in the bigger matter that could be it too but you know 
unbeknownst to them being used as tools by something because I was once used as a tool and I didn't even realize it and it almost made me look guilty of something remember mm -hmm. and I'm like oh that's not what I intended and my words didn't mean that I meant that you know and I'm like oh god and I, I'll be forgiving for that because I can understand that it happened to me and I'm like that's it. no I didn't mean to do that at all at all Shoot. All right, I'm a good person. <sighs> I'm not really that safe to hurt, but if you gotta hurt somebody, if we love each other, we can work it out. If only would I tolerate this stuff from my beloved, so oh my God. We've got to work this out, guys, come on. Don't be afraid, please. Really, I've got to put this hell that we've been going through to an end, meaning we win. And those who are mistakenly used as tools, we need to protect you and, you know, now, wait, come work for us or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out, but things are going to get better. We, we can't. If we don't stop this here now, I can't face another how many other years I have left. I intend to live very long and very healthily. Uh, I can't do this for another, what, 50, 60 years or something like that. You all right? I'm so sorry. We can't. Agreed? Yeah. It needs to stop. It needs to stop here and now. All right.